Good afternoon. It is March the 28th, 2018. Time to wrap it up and take a look at tomorrow. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trader programs in general are also subject to the fact they're designed benefit of hindsight, no representations being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we left the E-mini uh, expecting the market to close in the uh, 12 to 13 area. I still think that's good. I said uh, if there was going to be selling, it would be in the last hour of trading right here. The market was vulnerable. We have gotten a small sell-off. We did get a nice sell signal right here. Uh, market hasn't broken fully yet, though. Uh, we came in today. I, we beautiful trade right here. Able to talk through it. Came out at 11. Um, was looking at an, another market right here, but that was a beautiful trade right there. A retest failure right here would have been positive. This S was good for a little. Um, this buy a scratch. This buy positive. This S, positive. This buy with some patience would be positive. And then right here we were looking for the market to uh, try to break one more time um, after 2 o'clock central. And it's produced a, uh, a trade retest failure. A couple of ways to get it on. Did not develop very quickly. We can still go lower right here, but the key is going to be right down here, whether this player the 50 lot player goes with the trading with the market or not and that remains to be seen so we had a great day today uh, in the e-mini the call was right couldn't have done much better off of the opening if I do say so myself okay on the f1 screen lower high lower low look for a place to sell it on the f2 screen you see a pretty balanced portfolio the profile on that portfolio and there's a potential move out of the middle. Right there in the end period. And it doesn't feel like it's going to break. Uh, but we will see. Uh, something over the ticker tape bad about Amazon. Tesla or Facebook um, would give it the goose that it needs to go over the cliff right there. Okay, tomorrow we do have news. Jobless claims 228. Personal income up four tenths. Personal spending, personal consumption, core PCE up two tenths. Chicago PMI 62.8. Could come in higher than forecast. Uh, consumer sentiment 102 could come in lower than forecast with the correction that we've had in the uh, stock market. Nat gas don't know. Drew 86B week before last last week, probably similar this week. Baker Hughes rig count last week 1156 and 995. The 995 number could be higher than the preceding week. So the focus will be personal income. Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. If the market were to close right here, right now, we're selling 9s to 14s, 19s to 24s. On the uh, buy side, 91.96, 81.86. Okay, tomorrow, end of the month, end of the week, end of the quarter. Uh, that tends to freeze the market. Uh, won't be a lot of incentive for the big guys to get out there and bang on the market. So we're, I'm guessing we're probably going to have a pause day tomorrow. Okay, um, raised a lot of money this week, $300 billion. Uh, all auctions were characterized as me mediocre. Uh, the seven year was characterized as poor today. And based on the bid coverage of 2.34 to 1, uh, that was probably being kind in the assessment. Uh, I'm going to fold all of this in. Uh, so higher low, higher high. We can trade higher tomorrow. My guess is we have a pause day. 
and usually what happens after an auction uh, dealers are balancing their books the um, cash appetite for two five and seven year paper is gone it's been used uh, so this is what the uh, distribution looks like right here so uh, 31's to 03 sell one uh, we'll make uh, 7 to 11 sell two on the uh, buy side 21 25 buy one and 13 to 17 buy two Hopefully the cough seems to have gotten a little better after lunch. Uh, I do really well lying down. Uh, when I get up from lying down, that's when I, I never know what exactly I'm going to get. Uh, but after lunch, after lying down over lunch, it uh, seems to have uh, gotten a little bit better. So I've got my fingers crossed. About time. Um, last rotate up and M starts stops at 1 so the buck to 04 is number 1 7 to 11 sell 1 15 to 19 sell 2 we'll play for a pause day tomorrow uh, 20 to 24 where we were this morning number 1 13 to 17 by 1 and 5 to 9 by 2 Looking at gold, lower high, lower low, um, right down here this uh, 1325 looms large, it's within reach, so I imagine we're going to see it tonight in Globex or early tomorrow morning, market is pointed lower. And knowing the personality of the contract that you're dealing with, this, this is a contract that can extend the range in G. Um, and most of them will have finished uh, the AM session in E or F. So uh, we can hang around for one more push higher or lower in gold as it stands. Uh, we're at 30 right now. Last rotate up was at 33. So 31's to 33, sell 1. 35, 37, sell 2. On the buy side, we'll make it uh, 24, 26. Just a second. And uh, we'll make uh, 20 to 22 for buy two. Gold is definitely pointed lower. Economy's good. Stock market's getting better. No reason to own gold, right? Or so the story goes. Okay, crude. Uh, demand is getting for product is getting better. Uh, demand is 3% higher than it was last year. Uh, we are producing more each week than we did the previous week. And that's where the battle is being fought. So we do get real quick rallies based on draws and products or draws and crude then they come back and look at how much crude did we produce this week versus the week before it's more and that's that second wave of selling that we quite often see in crude F1 find a place to sell at lower high lower low um, it's a P put in backwards uh, we rejected prices above 64.80 probably 85 and we don't have good rejection down here below below 63.75 so uh, 64.75 65 even sell one 65 and a quarter 65.50 sell two 
on the uh, buy side, 64 even, 64 and a quarter by one. And um, 6350, 6375 by two. Yeah, that's a advanced technique. Oh, I was calling for Ed. He's not here. Well, perhaps you can help me then. Right into the spiel. Must be on the same list, Nancy. That's probably not a good thing. What I find is, is that if I get a, uh, on my cell phone, I get a phone call, and it's almost always a local, uh, local number, and then I click on it, and nobody's there. That means over the next couple of days, I'm going to get credit card calls, health care calls, uh, what was what happened to be raising money from some s certain organizations. So. Okay, uh, the euro got hit pretty hard today. Um, we have um, bottom of value is 22.75, 22.50. Top of value is 24.60. Uh, we rejected prices above uh, 25.40, and rejection of prices is way down there, 21.75. Um, so, F1 says, find a place to sell it. And multiple distributions lower. Uh, pretty easy sell today, just looking at the setup. Uh, so, wow. Uh, we'll make 23.90 to 24 even, sell one. 24.25, sell two. Um, 23.50 to 60, buy one. And um, 23.25, buy two. And that does it for this March the 28th. Um, God, we had a great day today. I am feeling better. I think you can hear it in my voice a little bit. Hopefully uh, the cold broke this afternoon. Was promised by the doctor that the medicine would be kicking in this afternoon. And so far it looks like it's probably true. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening. I am out of here.